What is up everybody? Today we have a outdoor shower. We're going to be um, just installing the valve and putting the new shower head and a little foot wash valve on. The lines are already punched out through the house so we just have to kind of get them to the spot we need so that the carpenters can come back and push that shower back up against the house. So uh, I will turn you around and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay so here is the inside of this new nice cedar shower surround. Um, we have our valve body, our little foot wash valve, and our riser. Um, it's not going to be anything too fancy. I went over it with everybody. Um, they just want copper going to everything. So, uh, you know, I had suggested chrome nipples up to the shower head and everything to make it look a little better, but um, copper was what was decided upon. So, we're just going to do it a little bit uh, rustic looking, I suppose you could say. So, uh, shower valve will go right in this area here um, we did some quick rough measurements so um, that's our center for the shower valve here um, the riser will come up and we'll have it so the arch is right up at the top here this is the back side of the shower as you can see there's two lines poked out they have some good pitch to them for drain back and I have to just kind of orient them so I can come up and over and then poke through. Um, we do also have our layout on the back here, so this will be our our, uh, our cold and our hot, and we'll drill through there. Um, then I can bring these up, line them up, and then the carpenters can come back and slide this against the house and level it so that I can continue along on the inside. Okay, so first things first here, let's drill ourselves some pilot holes through here right in here like so I can see light through that side and we'll go right here and now we'll go to the inside and finish these holes up Okay, so next is we have our holes here, but our lines are here, and obviously these are farther apart than these holes. Um, these are eight and a half on center, and the holes are three inches on center. We need to be an inch off the foundation for the Bilco door to the corner of this shower unit. So I will measure an inch off of there and get my center on this which is actually just going to be 15 plus three and a half, which is going to be 18 and a half inches. And so we add an inch and that means off of that, we need to be 19 and a half inches over this direction. So let me go ahead and mark that real quick. 19 and a half is right here. Then I will measure off the corner of the house here to this 19 which is 57 and a quarter and then the siding is an extra three quarters so we need to be 58 inches off of the corner of the house so we'll come like this and hold that there like that and I will mark 58, which is right there. And we'll just double check off the Bilco. We add two, so instead of 19 and a half, it should be 21 and a half, which, yes, we're, we're very, very close to that. We're within an eighth of an inch, so I'm happy with that. Um, we have some flexibility here so that we can hit these holes. So what I need to do now is transfer this line up to match the height of these holes. Okay, I've stuck a pipe through one of the holes. And I can take my little torpedo level here. And I'll use the house to stabilize. We'll get it level. 
And I'm going to tip it back just a little bit so that we have pitch going back towards the drain in the house. And we'll say we're center right there. And I'll push that back. And this whole unit is going to come up about an inch. So then I'll add another inch to this. So we're going to be right about here, which off of the trim is 20 and a quarter by 58. So that's our center right there. And then we'll go to three and zero. And that is where our hot and our cold should be. Cold, hot. So we'll cut these off, bring them up, you know, across, straighten them out and get them here and then put two pieces going horizontally so that they can push this whole surround right into it. Everything. Yeah, so I'm just going to get these, up and stuff, out the direction, and then you guys slide back, and then we'll be
Okay, this is not black here, but it's not a microphone, it's fine here. Okay, we're all done with the work back here. I'm just gonna go turn the water on, test these joints, then I can seal up the holes, pop these caps off, and the carpenters can push this surround back up against the house. If you see anything leaking, just give me a holler. Okay, water is on. I don't see any uh, leaks or anything. I think we can uh, go ahead and silicone this. Okay. All siliconed up. I'll go uh, turn the water off, pull these caps off, and then it'll be on to the carpenters. Okay, so they do make a tool specific for removing these. I'm not sure where I put mine, so 5 eighths open end wrench should work and do the trick. trick. See how much pressure there is, if it'll just spray everywhere or... Nope, nope, just air pressure. Okay, we're good to go.
Okay, so the shower stall is moved back and leveled and our pipes are through the holes now. So thanks to the carpenters, we can continue on along, get the valve bodies in, get the shower arm in and everything and get this thing knocked out. So let's get into it. Okay, so I need to mount this just like that. Just like that. Then we'll come up right here and secure it in place. Uh, we need two male adapters for here, just like so. I'll need a male adapter up here and then I'll put a female adapter spaced right so that we can then put this shower arm up. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to just sweat a male adapter on to the end of a piece of copper and have a, a like a basically a, a gunner here so that I can get the right measurement here. I'll secure this into place. Then I can cut it and put a 90 on right here. And we'll just go right up and in. So let's get these sweat on to the end of a pipe. Okay. Three male adapters sweated onto the end of pipe. This sits up in there kind of like so. So I will uh, secure this onto the male adapter, some tape, and that'll get us snug so I can mark us down here and get us in the right spot. Okay, so we have these cut now, which means we can stick them up in there just like so. And then I can I can come in here. I'll actually just throw the nut on there so that we can just hold them in place. Make sure we get them in the right spot here. And then I can mark this pipe there. Same here. Mark this one just like that so I can cut these and get that 90 on there. Okay, good cedar. Don't want flux on this seat. So, we'll put ourselves a blanket down. And I will flux up our tubing a little bit here. Then take our pipe here and I'm going to put some silicone grease on these o-rings flux our 90 this end of the pipe stick it on there and stick this on there just like so valves and we'll sweat these up. Wipe everything down real quick. All right, that looks
looks good to me. Um, what I will end up having to do is dismount the valve body here uh, so that I can put a little nipple and spin this guy on. This will be going to a foot wash. For now, I'm going to put on this and bring you up and show you the offset that I need for that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of an offset like that. We'll put our female adapter just like that, and then this can go into that like that. Um, I will put a van hanger down here where I can actually have it nice and flush. That should get me just past this point so that we can then have this well secured to the back wall here. Um, to do this joint and to get this on, I'll take this valve off. I have to do that anyway so that I can get to uh, that foot foot uh, wash valve. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. This side is cool enough that we can then go ahead and install this. Alrighty, so everything is installed now, except for the shower head. I am going to go downstairs though quick and turn the water on so that we can flush all the lines out and then I'll put that shower head on. Okay, time to turn the water on. Got our hot side and our cold. Okay, let's go uh, flush it out. Okay, time to flush it out. Put the shower head on and we'll test it out. Should be good to go. Okay, let's see how how it does. Ok, 
gets warm too, so we are good to go. Okay, so just as I was wrapping things up here, the contractor stopped by with the hose that they want to use for here. So I just have a male, half inch male by hose adapter. I will just thread that right into the bottom here. And we'll give it a test. Showers on. Under pressure, no leaks. Let's open the hose up. Looks like it'll work. Okay, so that's working. Okay. Okay, so that'll do it for this job today. Uh, the shower went in pretty well. Um, it was a little bit of a trick getting the pipes through that surround and getting the carpenters over here to take care of that, but we got it done nonetheless. Got the new shower valve in, shower head and foot wash are there now. But with that said, if you like this video, please remember to leave a like down below. Drop a comment too, let me know what you think, if you do anything differently. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button. I would much appreciate it. Um, it really helps the channel out and I'm just happy to have you all following along. With that though, everybody, I just wanna thank you for watching and I will see you all on the next job.